I'm going to tell you something super important today that you guys have to remember. Being single does not mean that you're necessarily available. Those are two different things, okay? And I'm going to talk about what to look out for to kind of determine whether somebody is single and available or just single. So when I'm teaching my ladies to read profiles, like a matchmaker, like I do, one of the things, the big thing that we start out with is when you're looking at these profiles of guys, um, and same goes for men when you're looking at profiles of women, um, did somebody put effort into their profile? Did they fill it out like in a real way? They put all the details. They put effort into their pictures. It looks like they really have skin in the game. Then this is potentially, there's more to it. I'll talk about that in a second. Then there, there's potential, good potential, that this person is actually on the apps looking for a legitimate relationship. Now, they may think they're, sync, they may think they're available, but they may not be. So let me talk about that. Hang on. Remember this. It's all about pre-qualifying at every phase, whether you're meeting them in person or meeting them on the apps. Don't think you just pre-qualify them once and that's it. No, keep your eyes and ears open because you need to be pre-qualifying at every phase and stage of the dating process, okay? Again, more of what I teach my ladies when they're working with me, okay? So when you are in the messaging phase with the person, this is where you really want to find out, like, and I always like to cue people up and say, hey, so how's Bumble treating you? Because then that will open it up for them to tell you whether they've been on Bumble long, whether they've had, whether they're a positive person, whether they're negative about dating. This will give you some crucial insight, okay? Now, hang on, I got more. There's more pre-qualifying to be done. Hang on. There's, so, there's a lot of different ways to pre-qualify in messaging, okay? But I'm just going to touch on every little thing. So now you've known when you, you at least know one thing when you're looking at profiles I already talked about. Now you know one thing at least to say in messaging, okay? And again, there's many things to know. But now when you get on a call with them, and I'm going to remind you, never go out with anybody before you get on a call with them. Do not do it. Even if they want to make a plan through messaging, stop. Say, hey, you know, that sounds great, but I'd love to jump on a call to learn more, blah, 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 or make any excuse, get them on a call. Now, when you're on a call, you may want to ask them, so when was your last relationship? Or are you looking for a real relationship? Sometimes they may put it on the profile, but it doesn't necessarily mean they really mean it. So it's always better as a secondary backup before you go out with them to get more clarification on where they're at, where their head is at before you go on a date with them. So you just ask them some key questions on that phone call. Hey, you looking for a real relationship? When was your last relationship? You know, they're gonna tell you. If you know what questions to ask, you're gonna get the right answers and that's all the intel you need so that you can determine if you really feel like they are in an authentic place for a relationship. All right, I got one last one for you, hang on. And finally, I think what's important as you're dating them is to see, is does this person's actions match their words? They want to see you. Do they make time to see you? They want to make plans. Are they actually making plans? You know, this is what is really going to be the difference in somebody being available for a relationship and somebody who's not. Are they willing to make room for you in their lives? Okay, keep all that in mind. And, and, I do have some more spots in my program. So if you want to learn more about my program or if you want to get my free ebook that I wrote, and it's an audio called Seven Myths Great Women Tell Themselves About Dating, so pop over to IG if you want that book and uh, put in the word gift and you'll get the free gift from me. And then uh, you'll also be learning more about the program and how I work with women, all right, and help you ladies. Level it up. I hope it helps.